Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Zoo. This is Michael from the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, let's take a look at uh, your comment you made over at my website at bettertoefelscores.com. You said, Hi, Mr. Buckoff. Uh, I am uh, Zulayu from Uzbekistan. I have passed the TOEFL three times and my scores are still low. My last one was 64, but as I witnessed and realized my reading section is always the same, I'm taking lower than 15 on the reading section three times. Could you please share some of your advice with me? What would you do if you were in my shoes? Thank you in advance. Good question. Okay, if I were in your shoes, I like that expression. I would do four things. I'm going to just use Zoo as your nickname. Number one. I would practice reading extensively for several months. I would read magazines, newspapers, and longer books. While I was doing the extensive reading, I would not stop when I see new words I don't know. I would just keep reading and try to get the basic gist of the reading passages. During this extensive reading, I would try to focus on my concentration so I can uh, comprehend more and I would also work on improving my reading speed a little bit. If I were you, I would do that, number one. Number two, I would study vocabulary. This is a separate activity that I would do in addition to the extensive reading. Now, if you like, you could take some of the new words that you saw in the reading, you know, in the books, and you could start studying those things. And I would definitely work on improving my vocabulary. Uh, the third thing, I would become more familiar if I were you and wanted to pass the reading section of the test. I would make sure I was familiar with all the TOEFL IBT reading question types and the strategies uh, for answering those questions. And finally, I would make a concerted effort, a very determined effort to increase my reading speed to 300 words a minute with 80% comprehension. That's exactly what I would do. Let me recap. So if I were you, number one, I'd practice extensive reading. Two, study vocabulary. Three, learn the different TOEFL IBT question types and how to answer those questions. And finally, four, increase my reading speed to a minimum of 300 words a minute. Now, based on the email that you sent me or the comment you made at the site there, you need some help, I think, with your vocabulary, with your grammar, and I can help you in your writing area. I can help you improve your speaking, including pronunciation, and I certainly can help you improve your reading proficiency. So at this point, I'd like to invite you to become one of my newest students to the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and remember, that I am only an email away whenever you have questions. So most of my lessons, specifically the lessons in the uh, vocabulary, grammar, reading, and listening areas, these are all self-study and all your quizzes and practice tests are computer scored. Now in the pronunciation, writing, and speaking sections of my course, this is where I get involved in your learning. Whenever you do a pronunciation pretest or post test, I'll listen to it, evaluate it, even recommend specific lessons to help you get better. And when you do a writing or speaking practice test, I'll do a similar type of feedback there. I will also read or listen to your writing on your speaking practice test again and give you some ideas on what you can do to get better. So, Zoo, it's kind of a constant kind of battle that you're working with me going through my lessons at my TOEFL course. I'm giving you some feedback, and then you're reviewing certain lessons and then taking additional practice tests. And you'll get better. You'll get better as you practice and as you go through my system. So, uh, anyway, thank you for your comments. I hope I've given you some good ideas. And, uh, by the way, uh, one last thing about the extensive reading. When you do the extensive reading, Zoo, is, you know, pick books you're interested in and pick books that are multi-chapter books so you give your brain a chance to read something and to get a story that maybe develops over a fairly long period of time, you know, over several hundred pages. This will really improve your thinking and your critical and speculative thinking type activities in the new language. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for making uh, your comment at my website. Uh, I hope to have you as one of my students. And uh, all the best 
to your high scoring TOEFL success.